Hi again everyone, I'm Ollie Matthews and welcome to Refuge from Narcissism. And this refugee video is sponsored by Contribution from June. And here's her story. Hi Ollie, here's a short story about narcissists and funerals. My toxic boomer sister is running my mother's funeral, six days after her death. I just found out she wants people to do a drive-by in front of the funeral home where people can roll down their windows and shout we love you at immediate family you know regardless that your boomer sister is probably doing what boomers do at a death making it about themselves and doing stupid shit this is sad this is sad that we're in a position that this is how we have to bury our dead like roll by and yell and listen it Welcome to the refuge. She's on a feeding frenzy and loving all the attention. Well, as they will do is make it about themselves. This is what the boomer does. This is what the narcissist does. They make every incident about themselves, every death about themselves. She's been on the phone nonstop. My elderly father with dementia and spinal stenosis will be sitting in a gravity chair outside with a patio heater and the weather forecast, so I'm told, calls for temperatures of negative one, uh, 30, Fahrenheit, okay, 30 Fahrenheit. Although when I look up, when I look it up, it says negative three, 26 Fahrenheit. I guess doing Zoom isn't good enough. We're limited to nine people in the, the heck? That was weird. We're limited to nine people in the funeral home due to public health rules, which I was grateful for. But now there's this. I'm not going to, I'm not doing the drive-by thing, but I'll go to the service in the afternoon. I don't care about the smear campaign. I don't bother with extended family. That's her territory. The narcissist proposed having nine people visit in segments, but the funeral home would have to sanitize between groupings, so I guess someone managed to talk her out of that. I've gotten all this information from the golden child sister who is, work, who is working hard to appease. The funeral will serve as one of those red flags if she ever wakes up. Plus, the two sisters are puzzled that dad hasn't cried yet. She only died yesterday and, it's prob and he's probably still in shock. Plus, he's a narcissist, so feelings are stuffed way down. Anyway, bottom line is that she needs to control everything, even the look on your face. The funeral home website has the obituary posted today, or at least that's what it's called. It says she passed peacefully, but the rest of it is about the dog and pony show. There's no mention of her children or grandchildren, anything about her life. Maybe it will, maybe it will be replaced with a real obituary. No, I mean, that gives you all you need to know about. The, the, the funeral's not about your mother. It's about your sister. It's about the narcissist. So why participate? What's the point? What's the point for your father, who you say is a narcissist and has dementia anyway? Like they're wondering why he's not crying. Didn't you say he has that your Ella it has dementia with spinal stenosis? Well, maybe because he has dementia and doesn't really understand what's going on. Both parents are or were narcissists, so I've already grieved for what should have been. So if you've already grieved, so what's the point of you involving yourself with any of this? If you've already grieved for the narcissist over what you have lost, then what's the point of any of this? Why are you torturing yourself? Especially during a pandemic where we're just supposed to yell out the window, I love you. Have your sanctuary. Have your refuge. Have your sanctuary. 
Why are you leaving your refuge to deal with this if you've already made your peace with it? Torturing yourself. I have a few good memories, but overall she was my tormentor. So why go why go to your tormentor's funeral to be tormented some more? Isn't that what she would have wanted? June? The best thing I could say is she usually left me alone during childhood. That's partly because of the chain smoking out that's partly because the chain smoking alcoholic was too busy battling my father for control. I felt like I was raised in an orphanage run by two people who constantly fought. I was a mess yesterday because I have compassion and and I saw the body at hospice. It was as if she was in a position to finally listen to me, but she wasn't. And today, all I can think of is she can't hurt me anymore and I'm letting go. Thanks for all you do, Ollie. Take care. So you really just tortured yourself by going to the hospice and, and seeing her laying there like she would actually be able to listen to you, but she can't. Why? Because she was dead. And isn't that her, and wouldn't that be her last fuck you? Oh, here I am where I could finally listen to you and accept you, but I'm dead already. So why did you go there? Why did you go there? Because you believe in the hype that you're a bad person if you don't show up. You believe in the hype. And you kinda you kinda said it in here with the with the red flags and you know, you don't bother with your extended family already. So why are you going? So why did you go? If this woman is your tormentor and your mother and your father are both narcissists, we know death doesn't absolve the narcissist. Doesn't make you feel any better going there and 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 subjecting yourself to that shit show, you feel worse after the fact than better. If you can you never go there and say, "Well, that played out perfectly." It's always, well, I should have done this, I should have said that, I should have done this, I should have not. And then the end of the conclusion, the, the final conclusion you'll finally come to is, what the hell did I go there in the first place? You've already made your peace with her dying. So what's the point of going there and seeing her? Because you didn't really make your peace with it because you were still finally somewhere deep down hoping at the sight of her. Maybe now's her opportunity before she dies. Nope. 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 All you're doing by showing up at the narcissist's deathbed is giving them one more opportunity to slam that door in your face. That's what, you, that's what you're doing. You tortured yourself when you shouldn't have had to. You know both your mother and your father are narcissists. Your mother was your main tormentor. She abused you with her chain smoking and alcoholism. So what's the point? Your sister's another narc. Your other sister's a golden child who you've been trying to, you, who you're there hoping she'll see the red flags. No, it would have been a better way for her to see the red flags is if you don't show up. <laughs> if you don't show up. Well, what are they going to do? They're going to blame you. They're going to shit talk you. They're going to do that anyway. And within a, whether it's in a day, a week, a month or a year, they're going to, they're going to attack you for your behavior at that funeral. Anyway, you're going to be put under attack anyway, whether you went or not. So why did you go and subject yourself to something? If you had already made your peace with it, death doesn't absolve the narcissist ever. And I am. So glad it's a perfect first video for the refuge of nar from refuge from narcissism. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much, June, for all your support and another story. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, something you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up a Skype phone call, have a private video made, 
or you'd just like to make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel here and on Rumble. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been Refuge from Narcissism. Take care.